in this video i am going to explain you what is a doi in research papers so if you want to know about doi okay meaning of doi just search it on google and the full form of doi is digital object identifier okay system and it says here on wikipedia you can find the uh, definition of doi as a digital object identifier is a persistent identifier or handle used to identify object uniquely standardized by the international organization for standardization okay so uh, persistent identifier means uh, the some identity of document or research article that can exist long lasting okay for long time and if the website or the journal of the research uh, work has been modified uh, or updated then other uh, url of the uh, article can be changed but do doi does not change okay it remains as it is and it works for updated version as well so that's why doi is very important property for the research paper and uh, um, actually uh, doi is owned by the journal of the paper okay Not, but owned by the uh, journal of the research paper and by adding some identification numbers uh, the journal of the paper uh, provide the doi number or link to the article as well okay for example here i have some files okay okay let me check it here okay and there is research papers folder and let me check here okay let me open this one these are the papers that i am studying okay for my research work and uh, i want to show you doi of this paper okay so here double uh, as tps okay double slash and doi dot work and then 10 dot four digit numbers and then uh, this uh, this is uh, the journal okay name of the journal is this and there are some additional um, additional phrase or you can say code after this one okay this uh, company dot work okay provides of uh, this number for all uh, different number that uh, contains a 10 dot and something with four digit number and to all the journals okay and then the article varies with this value okay and if you click on this uh, um, doi link then it goes to the site where the paper is online okay and see it is a science direct and you can see the title of the paper and the journal okay published here and this is doi okay and uh, you can have all information about the paper and its content okay so this is how doi looks like and how to check doi okay uh, for that you need to copy the doi link first actually it is a kind of url you can say okay link okay but it is not actually the you can you cannot say it as a link okay uh, let me open this object identifier doi website okay so this is the website uh, where you can check the doi of the research paper okay and paste the copy the doi of the research article 
on this uh, search bar and press on submit button and if the DOI is correct then it shows like this okay see this and this are the same and I got to this space by clicking on the DOI link that is provided on this paper here okay see so this is how DOI works and the DOI can be of two type okay one is in the form of this uh, DOI dot work slash 10 dot four digit number and then something okay you need to keep in mind up to this uh, number okay up to this slash okay and after that this can be different for different articles so and another type of the doi uh, name is uh, if you uh, type uh, for example dx dot doi then it will take uh, to new website okay this is also for the doi okay see this is also a doi website if you click that uh, doi on, on here let me see it does it work or not okay and uh, it works okay but in some doi site uh, they have uh, dx before this dx dot uh, before this doi here okay if you want to know more about the doi then you can go either on wikipedia or you can uh, have information there are many websites that uh, provide the information about DOI for you my professor suggested me that uh, if you want to cite paper uh, or journal then look at the check whether there is a DOI or not in that paper because DOI having DOI means the paper is of standard quality so you need to check the doi site first okay uh, actually doi is used in place of in place of url link okay but uh, doi is uh, considered or assumed to be better than url okay because url um, have uh, url uh, sites uh, or uh, links have uh, a limited uh, time for their validation okay but doi has unlimited uh, time span of validation okay it works all the time updating the website or updating the research article or journal okay it doesn't matter to doi once the doi is given to any article it will work forever okay so that's why doi is considered to be better than just an url because all websites have url all websites don't have doi okay all research articles can have a url okay but all research article that is published on online don't have doi so that's why doi has importance in a research article research field okay this DOI was introduced in 2000 okay so the paper that were published after do after 2000 most of those papers can have the DOI okay I cannot say anything about the papers that were published before 2000 so I want to just tell this one okay now let me go back So this paper was published in uh, where? Uh, when, 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 when? This paper was published in 1985. Okay, so that's why uh, this paper don't have. This paper doesn't have a DUI. Okay. I just want to wanted to say tell you this. Let me see another paper. This is a uh, paper of 2003. Published in 2003. Let me see whether this paper has DOI. So it has DOI. See, 
okay okay i think uh, you have uh, got information about uh, doi it is a digital object identifier this uh, that means uh, some tool uh, tool or you can say link or url or the way that uh, help you to identify um, online uh, stops for example that can be articles research article research report or books that which uh, uh, identify those stops uniquely okay for long time so when you are trying to download the research paper for your work please check this one okay thank you so much for watching this video